Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior Barl, and man, am I excited to bring this to you today. I got Gumu for you today, something that's really awesome. I did a review for you guys of the battery holder. Absolutely stunk because you can't use it with, um, you know, with a case. It would have been great. Unfortunately, you know, with a 3D printer, you could just scan it, print it bigger. Uh, they have even files for it. But if you wanted to get away with a cheap solution, some people recommend something that I'm going to tell you to stay away from. And I'm going to explain to you why to stay away from it. And then I'm going to show you what I recommend. Now, I use this battery, but you could use whatever battery you want. But anyways, we're going to get right to it. And I'm going to show you everything from there. <laughs> Okay, guys, so like I said, people use, uh, you know, they're like, let me do a solution. People are like, even I had a, a gentleman who actually made that suggestion to use magnets. Now, these magnets are super magnets, okay? And what you could do is you could put it in the back of your system and have this, you know, it comes with its own adhesive, and you buy them on Amazon really cheap, and you could just do it and, oh, wow, that's great. You know, everything is great and you have a magnet and everything's ready to go. I've seen, in fact, some, some of them that have this, um, this setup that's a battery holder for the, um, uh, what do you call it, the Steam Deck. But I'm going to tell you something, guys. As a person who understands magnets and works with them very, very much, as you saw in my 3D prints when I did the Iron Man and all these other things, magnets don't work well with batteries. What do I mean by that? Very, very simple. When you put a magnet onto a battery like this, even though this plastic you think is is a barrier because it's not a thick enough plastic, I can tell you that. And what happens is when you put strong batteries like this, they will eat at your battery, uh, you know, strong magnets like this, sorry. They will eat away at your battery and could even cause the battery to explode. I kid you not. And it will just make your battery not work now on this thing right here you're like wow okay well the battery is over here and you know if i put it up here great but you're still using the external battery and let me tell you even if you do put it here some of you guys said well the replacement battery is cheap i agree it's cheaper than the external battery these external batteries cost about $130 for good ones. You know, you could get away with an $80 one, uh, you know, $75. I, I don't know if that would be something I trust. But you want name brand cells like, you know, this is from Lenovo. But if you buy those made in China cells, they tend to explode. They tend to have issues. They tend to die out. They're not what they're advertised to be. Bottom line is magnets will destroy your entire system. So, what do I recommend, right? First off, like I did a review for you guys, I highly recommend you get yourself a case like this, the silicone case. Now, why am I saying that? Because we're going to be able to mod it right now. We're going to be a we're going to be able to mod it because we're not going to make contact with this. Okay, with the actual unit. So if you ever want to sell your unit, it's not going to have all kinds of issues and all of that. So we're not going to do that. But we need this because, it, A, it's great. It has the cutouts for the vents. Another thing is you don't want to block out the vents. But if you look, the Lenovo Legion Go, when they built the vents, there's vents here, vents here, and this is shut off. You could literally see that it's completely... Let me just take this off. That you could see it here, that they made the middle not a vent at all, even though it looks like a vent. It's closed off. So if you could house a battery between this, that would be really, really crazy. Really cool. So anyways, I'm going to put this on back again. So I'm going to show you guys what I did. So I found on Amazon you could get this for $7. I kid you not. It would pay a little more for 4 They're used for equipment racks uh, for your shed in your backyard or whatever to put like all kinds of equipment there. Now, you know, so it's just magnetic. Now, I know I told you guys about magnets, right? These magnets are extremely weak, okay? It has adhesive here and adhesive there. They're extremely weak. The only reason they use them is only so there'll be an extra layer of protection in terms of to seal it. So this thickness right here, the magnet will not be able to go, you know, over this. But what's cool is 
this thing right here that's going to attach to your uh, to your battery, if you look, has a lip. Okay, and here there's a recessed part. So when we put this onto the system and this into the battery, okay, you're going to have, when you put the battery in, you click it into place and you have security from all over. You also have it on the sides here because it's, it does a great job. So you put it in here and you're good to go. It's locked and ready to go. Now, I am going to say this, the adhesive, I didn't do full test on it. I don't know the longevity on it. What I do know is I'm going to use Gorilla Glue for something like that. I'm going to use uh, a glue gun for something like that. But right now, for the sake of anything, I'm just going to explain it right here. So I do have these for my equipment rack. And I can tell you through all the humidity of the New York hot death heat of the summer. And then you go into the winter. These lasted for a very long time. But again, command strips in my place does not work well. So it could detach. I Again, never did the longevity test except I had over a year. And these uh, this adhesive actually worked really well. So now what are we going to do? Okay. So we're going to put it in between here we're gonna put it this way okay so you see it just flex a little bit of it right so we're gonna do that this also gives you a space when you put your battery which is going to take up a little bit more but it gives a space so the vents will still work out so now i'm gonna put this on and i'm gonna show you guys what i'm talking about okay so first things first we're gonna take off the adhesive yeah it's really hot out here uh, today, so, you know, this adhesive, I'm really hoping, uh, you see they're a little bit disconnected, but again, they're very cheap, so if you make a mistake, here's the magnet, you make a mistake and there's some kind of issue, you can do it, okay? So now you want to make sure you do, you put it right on the place where even you want to go more down, you could go down a little more. Here we go. And now we have it here. Now, usually with adhesives, what I recommend doing is wait about seven hours till it uh, binds. And then you, you know, you'll have a good uh, fix on that. So right now we have it on my, see, I still left a little bit at the top, but you have it here. And this is pretty cool. Ready to go. Okay. So we have that ready to go. And now we're going to do this. Now I'm using this battery. Some batteries are even smaller and they have the same capacity. But this is by Lenovo itself. And I like to keep, I don't know, the top, I guess I'm going to keep it like this. So I could put just the top and not have to worry about it. I could go underneath, but I'd rather just go to the top. So we're going to put it here, the adhesive. Just got to make sure I have it in the right place. So we're going to do it like this and right in the middle because we don't want to take up too much of the space. Actually, maybe, hmm, let me see how I want this to be because I don't want it sticking out too much. But on the other hand, I don't want it to be top heavy either. So I'm just going to line it up. And I think this is a happy medium right here on the sticker of it. I think that's going to be the happy medium. So I'm just going to put it here. You just measure it how you feel comfortable. Here we go. I go about Just take your time with this thing. Make sure you measure it perfectly. And there you go. Okay. Now, again, I should let this sit over for at least six hours or whatever, just so it could bind in a cool room even better. But you'll see right here. And we have liftoff. Okay. And trust me, it's not even that uh, heavy. So it's pretty cool. Does a good job, and right there, we're good to go. Locks right into place. In fact, the magnet isn't even doing a good job, if you look. See? <laughs> so this thing is just a hook. Uses gravity. Pretty cool. Holds in because the track's on the side and left. And you can see it does a great job right there and then. 
What I would have loved to see is if I could have done it in, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, if it was, uh, give me one moment. If it was like able to turn, so like if I ever wanted to switch positions or whatnot. But again, this comes with two. So if you screw up on one, you'll have another one. If you lose one, you'll have another one. And the funny part is, um, I want to see something here. Huh. Something. I'm going to look here. Yeah, would you look at that? So weird, but perfect. Perfect. And then I'm going to put this, I guess, over here. I would have liked to have it maybe on the bottom. But you can see, guys, perfect in every way, shape, and form. Again, you can make it go even more high if you want. And then this thing will just stick out. I prefer it like this because you see I'm playing it and it's perfectly stable. You could see. But right now I don't want to mess with it because I didn't, because um, I didn't, uh, what do you call it, allow this to, uh, you know, to, to be an adhesive yet. But you could see it does a great job. And right away, I'm just going to show it to you. And I'm going to show you here doesn't cover anything no holes because this thing has a spacer in between so the air is coming out and i'm going to show you guys right now look how sweet this looks huh and i got my 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 battery bank charging from my uh, sorry my battery uh charging the unit because this thing's almost dead and i'm ready to go and it doesn't weigh at all almost anything because this battery in general doesn't weigh that much. And when I don't want it, when I want to put it back in the case, okay, I pull this out, okay, and I'm going to show you how it fits in the case too. So you guys will see. All right, so you just put this in. There you go. There you go, here you go, you close it up, there you go, and bada bing bada boom, closed up, ready to go, my battery has this, now again, you don't have to put it here, you can put it in the middle, have it stick out a bit, um, I prefer it like that because I kind of don't want to see it from the top. Um, some, some of you guys might want to put it here. So it's like more, uh, on the bottom. I don't know if you guys want that cause it'll dip a little bit, but other than that, perfect solution works great on the Lenovo Legion go. And the battery is not so strong that it will melt. I mean, battery, the magnet is not so strong like these right here that you need to have plastics in between because they will actually break because these things will destroy your battery. Where this thing is so, I mean, I showed you, it wasn't, the battery wasn't even holding it. See, it has a little bit, and that's about it. <laughs> so really, really cool. And you have a spare for like seven bucks. I'll put the link in the description. You guys know I don't get paid to, I'm not a paid for reviewer, so I buy all this with my own money and I do my own thing. So anyways, guys, if this helped you out in any way, shape, or form, and the information I give you about magnets uh, with batteries helped you out in any shape or form, please do like, subscribe, hit that bell button. Uh, you know, helps the algorithm a lot, helps people sift through less garbage to get to people like us who give true information, not paid for by the following information. Uh, independent, uh, you know, just word of mouth, guys. And we're already on our road to 10,000, just a little bit over a year. My Our views in the channel is over 3 million. I just never asked people to subscribe. But now, uh, you know, 
the algorithm likes subscriptions. So keep those, you know, let's make those subscriptions rise up. So people have to sift through less garbage to get to the truth. And you guys are helping me more than enough. I know you offer me Patreon services. And I always say, no, thank you. I don't have a Patreon because I work three jobs to make this happen. And believe me, I got this. But uh, I don't want, you know, I'd rather you guys save that money. We live in uncertain times and, you know, get this for seven bucks, get a good battery that you could count on, you know, invest in yourselves, your kids, uh, anything, uh, you know, that you want. But, you know, I got this covered and you guys are doing more than enough by helping me on this journey, better inform people by being the jury. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you have any other uh, solutions? Definitely comment below, you know, helps people let, let us help the community at large make better informed decisions and be better educated in things that you know even i'm ignorant and so i would love to uh this just helped me a lot with my uh shed and i said let me try it on this and uh, i was stunned it was great and yeah that's why i wanted to do this for you took it out had the other you know bought another two <laughs> put those together i actually have about maybe 20 of these uh that i bought uh for my shed but you know i went ahead and bought another four just to test this out so i'm like let me do this and let me I don't know. Works really well. I, I would highly recommend it. If you guys have any other suggestions, definitely leave it in the uh, comments down below. As always, as what I always say, you know, like, subscribe, hit that bell button. Helps the algorithm a lot. Share it with everybody you know. Make the family grow. Comment down below. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye. As always, guys, if you like what you see, self-funded here, be sure to check out all my other uh, stuff from mini-series to unboxings to technology, you know, and uh, Nintendo reviews and 3D printer uh, reviews and all that good stuff. If you like what you see, the only way you can help the channel is by liking uh, this video, subscribing, and hitting that bell button. As many more cool videos to come, definitely want you guys in it, and I, wanted, I want you guys to be vocal. Definitely comment down below. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye.